Hello and welcome to The Devoted Golfer. My name is Woody Lashen and my guest today is Ralph Reichert from Oban Shafts. Hello, Woody. How you doing, Ralph? Very good, thank you. We've got a lot to talk about today. Uh, a lot of stuff going on with, with, with Oban. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're covering the gamut here. Yes, yes. <laughs> Start out with graphite, now you've got steel, yes. and you've got some really cool graphite to talk about. Right, right. And I think what, we, what I'd like to do today, we've talked in the past about the materials and just the, the amount of money, effort, and expertise we put into just, just selecting the best for our shafts. We'd like to add a, a little bit of our... Uh, manufacturing processes that we use and how that differentiates them because you you get to you get, you get these great materials but we have some proprietary ways that we put these together so we have some animated film that we'll share and just kind of give a more conceptualized idea of of why we're different and and kind of answer the question when, that people ask us why why is your sha why is your shaft outperforming others why are we hitting your shaft better because they want to know well, you know, people look at a graphite shaft and they can't tell a difference and they hit it and they're like, well, why is there a difference? And it's, everyone says, oh, we're using high modulus materials, we're using, mm -hmm. but are they really and why is there a difference? Right. So we're going to give a little peek inside. We, our, our manufacturers are very somewhat protective of, because <laughs> they're, 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 it's, it's not just one si single thing they do differently, it's just, you know, every day they're trying to get better, make, you know, uh, make their processes, make their products better. So we want to give a little peek inside so you kind of get an overview of what, what differentiates us. Great. So let's, let's take a look. Okay. So we'll start with, um, and we've talked about this, brand promise. That's our focus. Our focus has always just been on the best performing product and the way we go to market with, you know, the best fitters in the world. We need to partner with people that are going to be to, be able to show that difference from a performance standpoint. Because like what you say, you can't cut it apart and, and, and show the inners. You can just show what, what those advantages are. Um, and from an exclusive standpoint, we're an exclusive in the extent that we want to partner with people that have invested in the, in the uh, demos to be able to test not only the shafts, but the heads, um, and then also the, the the data capturing techniques that you can then show a golfer. It used to be where, where you'd see ball flight and say, that one's better, and the golfer would have to rely. Now you can back up that's better with the, uh, um, the numbers, the data to show why it's better. You know, it's very interesting. I remember when you first started Oban, you came to our store and you told us about Oban, and we just weren't ready to do it. And you said, listen, when you're ready, we're gonna be, you're the guys we want on Long Island. The, right. the, you, we, you know, and so it was six months later, and you hadn't opened anybody up, us up, and we, 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 it was our downtime, and I came to you, and you said, if you're ready, we, we, we've picked out the, the, the guys that we know know their stuff, and I love that about Oban. You're, you're not just giving it to anyone because they don't understand the story. They don't understand. You want to give it to the people that know the product and right. know why it works. And, and, uh, um, and Woody, we... we we often have to tell a player who goes, I, there's not an Oban dealer close to us. And we say, we're sorry. We, we, we're, we're not going to be able to open them up all across the country in every spot. We follow the people that have invested in the technology that can show it. Because we want it to be, they need to be successful for us to be successful. And, and we pretty much understand the model and the investment it takes to make them successful. And we don't want people spending on us if they can't be successful with it because they don't have the ability to show it. So that's a little bit, uh, yeah. We that's like a good that a point. lot. The, uh, um, we want to touch on two, or what we, two big things that we believe in. One is the PGA show, because if you're coming up, you're, if you're different, and you're producing new product and want to show it, this is the place to educate and to demonstrate that. So we're huge believers of here, and we're huge believers to be on the, sh on the, on the show floor because you have passionate people who are in the industry that want to know what you're doing, and this gives our opportunity to do it. The other part about it is, is the, um, the tour. The tour is just a great place to validate the product that you have and give the consumer saying, okay, this obviously is high end, the best players in the world. And for our standpoint, it's the best, it's, a, it's an ideal place to test. We test with all players of every range, but we generally start here and just understand what, what the shaft can do and if it's hitting that target that we want to we want to achieve. Um, so that's important to us. Uh, designed to endure, we, we get it in the fitting systems. We're not building a shaft for a year. We're building a shaft that you could play for a lifetime, if you will, but I guess it's the same kind of concept that you can buy a car for, a lot of times a great car for a lifetime as well. 
you don't always want a car for a lifetime. You want to keep uh, cars checking that wear out how fast the shaft's going to wear out. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so we, 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 we are passionate about our brand and maintaining that brand. Um, and Oban Tour Reserve, this is one of the models that we introduced last year and we're basically releasing this year. And it's some of our, our, our models that we've, we've had around and we've put a, a, a unique coating on, a unique finishing on for someone that everyone wants to be a little bit different and, and, and uh, some, some, a, a different look. And that's what we've, we've you, introduced this you year. Know, I'm always a performance guy. I want it to work. Right. But you have something that's proven that works, and now it kind of looks really cool. Right, so exactly. It's a, it's, a, it's a great combo. Exactly. So now we want to start with uh, um, uh, Airburst. We, we've partnered with the Olympic Company out of Japan, and it's almost a triangular partnership where it's Torre on the materials, Olympic on the, on the um, manufacturing processes. And what, what Olympic has pioneered they're, they're, they're very, very big on composite fishing rods as well, and those tips of the fishing rods get so small that, that they, they um, designed a, an ultra-thin ply material process with uh, Torica and, and be able to use that. We went to them and said, okay, it sounds like you have advanced techniques. We'd like to use those on a shaft. And we partnered with them on a design, our, our, our tour representatives, came up with the design, and then we worked with them on the manufacturing. And I just want to show a very simplified uh, animated video of what that looks and what, what the benefits you have of the ultra-thin ply and what you have to, to do to achieve it. So you're taking a mandrel and you're wrapping material around and you're just showing the cross-directional positioning of that material to strengthen that structure. What, what we've done is we, we go with advanced materials because you get a feel and a performance consistency. With this process, you're able to wrap it in a way to make that structure so stronger because there's a couple things we want to do. It's, it's obviously get the performance, but we want that performance every time. And, and this technique sh shows how we achieve that. That was eight wraps. Our Airburst actually has 11 to 16 wraps. And while that's a simplified version, it gives you kind of a look inside what we do in, in, from, our, from our manufacturing process. Um, that's on the, on the graphite side, and, and they really are very high-performing shafts and expensive, but we use that same kind of philosophy throughout our line. I love that you showed that because I think most people have no idea how you make graphite shaft. The problem is you didn't show what most graphite shafts are Right, done. right. And, <laughs> and so that's a could, good suggestion. So you could see the difference because right. if, you, if you as a consumer could see that and then see how a lot of other graphite shafts are made, you go, I, I don't want to play that. We're going to add that to our to-do list, and we'll show that. But yeah, where other people are maybe using just a few plies, just trying to keep costs down and, 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 and manage that, or they're not able to wrap it as tightly as we're able to wrap it and have just that consistent bond, that makes us unique. And, and we have uh, diagnostic uh, equipment that can do cross-sections of shafts and then really be able to compare versus what we do or versus what maybe our competitors do. And we always like to talk about what makes us better what makes us great and that focus so much on the, the, the maybe the lower side of the shafts but I like that idea we'll, we'll, that's, we'll show that's, some graphics. That's great stuff. Thank you and then we'll move on to uh, steel so Oban got into steel about three years ago and we partnered with a company again in Japan Shimada the unique thing about Shimada is they're an extruded shaft all their processes are in Japan and they're very very tight very high quality um, probably not as known because we, we hit the higher range. And this has been a nice partnership. Again, we had our tour reps and some engineers come up with a concept in steel that we felt was unique and wasn't out there. So we it worked is with unique Shimada. And it wasn't out there. Right, <laughs> thank you. And we worked with Shimada to, 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 to get that out. So we tell people, well, it's extruded, and not, maybe not everyone has that concept. So again, we put this in, in a video and we'll kind of show what. Uh, um, again from a benefits, a, a, a peak inside. So from an extrusion standpoint, you're working with a die and a mandrel, sliding the die inside the mandrel. This is a cold extrusion process. So you're taking a billet of steel and ram force to press that billet of steel over the mandrel through the die and make a tube. If you'll notice, there is no seam where everyone basically makes it flat rolled and seamed. This is extruded through. But because it's extruded through a die, that wall stick thickness stays very consistent as well. 
for exacting tolerances. That's why this shaft is so repeatable. And, and probably the best, maybe the best way to explain it is uh, um, two things. One thing with our process, which is unique and it's built for fitters, is the amount of flexes you have throughout. It's not just regular, stiff, and extra stiff. You can go S minus, S plus. So when I, when I test, and I love doing this, if I, if I say, well, I'm a stiff, well, I was testing S minus, S, and S plus, getting on a launch monitor and just taking a look at, okay, distance is one part, but I want to know the distance of my best shot, my distance of my worst shot, and then what that dispersion looks like. You know, in drivers, distance is important, the consistency of length is nice. In irons, it's critical because you want that you want a tight gapping on that. So that that gives the ability. And again, it points to why we want to work with the best fitters to be able to show what that dispersion is. We always talk about as fitters, the more options you give us, the better fit we can give, because everyone is not the same. They're all different. And when you give me a, a, a real variance where I can really fine tune the the flex, I can give a better fit. Yeah, and you know what what we've liked from where we've what we've seen a kind of a trend in the industry and people have said, wow, they're building better irons. They're, they're putting more money into it, making more exotic product to be able to show, which is good for us because that's kind of what we do from a shaft. If, you, if, if, if you're committed to playing the best, this, this is just a great opportunity to test out and just show how good it is. We're, we're, we're expensive. Well, we understand that. But we think we're a value for where we're at. I mean, and, and what you can do and just feel it. It's just a nice combination. Probably a good example of that is the gears system. Uh, Michael Neffet Gears reached out to us and said, you know what, we've done a, a lot of testing and we included your, your Oban steel in our testing. We said, what we're seeing is you're testing, you've tested the best of the group. What, why, did you, why did you test the best of the group? Can you explain that to us? So we kind of went through just what we, what we did on steel. But my question to him is, when you say we're the best, what are you measuring to tell us why we hit that category. And he said the gear system is a, is a system where you put sensors throughout the, on the body and throughout the shaft and the head, so you can kind of do some 3D modeling. If you take a look at this, this fir the, the first part of it is, is, is showing deflection, how that shaft is deflecting through the swing. The second part over here is showing droop and how the head weight just kind of deflects the shaft down. They said what we tested is you are the most consistent going back than anybody and then coming through as well not only in the swing, but swing to swing. And that's why your dispersion. And that, that um, uh, correlated what we were hearing from fitters saying, you know, when I'm going through a fitting with somebody, all of a sudden I get them in the right flex, not just the right shape, but with the right flex, and all of a sudden it just tucks into a, to a tight little pattern. So that, that, was, that was good, good to hear. And that, that's kind of our model. Our model is we do a lot of tour testing. We do a lot of development. But then we get it out to our fitters, and we get so much information coming back. And, and that's the beauty of this, is now we start hearing back what, what other people are seeing, because everybody does it just a little bit different. The, you know, the core method is pretty similar. But the variations you do, everybody, you know, you're making your process a little bit better every day as well. And, to, and then we love that feedback, just to understand a little bit more how, you know, we incorporate that into our group and, and say, and that's why we like bringing our whole group to the PGA show. And then, and then demonstrating what, what uh, um, you know, comparing notes and seeing how we can do it better in, in this next year and what we should be developing. The other thing that we do, and this is a, um, you know, kind of a shout out to, to Russ Ryden and the, the fit to score process is that's invaluable. The technical data that's coming out of this is invaluable. Now we have our manufacturer that does EI curves and, 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 and things like that. But this is consistent throughout the industry, and you can see what not only what we're doing, but what our good competitors are doing, and just see how that how that's a comparative. The, the the most important thing when you're when you're you know obviously when you're evaluating something, you just want everything you want everyone looking at it the same way. Same playing field. So this gives you an opportunity to look at the entire the entire field and consumers to take a look at it. It's it's a lot of data to die into, <laughs> but it's it's just presented in such a cool way well, that we use that it every day. Use it every day because we want to know and the, we can compare every shaft that's been measured under the same parameters as opposed to, you know, each manufacturer will give you, you you'll give me specs, but they're measured under different parameters. This way we can compare apples to apples. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. And then the last one, again, I'm going to just, uh, the, the shout out to the PGA merchandise show. We, 
are huge fans of this as, as an ability to come together and, and, and share with our customers who come from around the world and we get to have our whole team here. We have all of our tour reps here. We pull him out of San Diego. He's not happy about not being at San Diego this week. But, but it's invaluable to share what they've been working on for the last year and being able to, to, to talk directly with, with uh, um, our fitters and our customers to say, here's what we're seeing from a performance and how we do things maybe – how we do things out there and how some of the manufacturers are doing things out there to share and, and again, promote that. So we, we love this week. It's a great week. Learn a lot and get to spend time with, with some great people and learn, and, and learn even more. Ralph, thank you so much for your time. I, I hope you, uh, you enjoyed talking a little about it. I'm hoping that all got to understand yeah. a little bit more about how great Obon products are and how, how well they're made. Thanks, Woody. Appreciate that. Thank you very much, Ralph. All right. Thank you for watching The Devoted Golfer.